All right, this is Kathy with Kincaid Special Creations again. We are going to attempt to make a nice little holder for this vase. What you do, I've seen this on YouTube, you take and you put five, let me start over here so you can see what I'm doing. You do five at, and put a space in them between them and just, just put them all the way around your, and sometimes you might need more than five depending on how big your thing is. So I'm going to put six. My base is just a little bit bigger than the one that I watched. So you put them all down on the bottom. You don't want them up completely close to your vase, but you want them close enough that because when you're finished, your vase will be sitting inside of it. Okay, so you start with those six. And then the next ones, you're going to put a little drop of glue on the ends of your uh, things. And you're going to set them at an angle. Once you get that first thing on, it'll do a lot better. Try to keep them at, a, at equal distance on e either one. And that's hard with this wood glue, with this hot glue. And then we'll go around to the next one. Put a little bit of glue on the ends of each one of them. And then put your block down. And just keep going around. And then you're going to start up with the next row. And that one you're just going to go back and put them back the same way they were the very first ones. Try to keep them even if you can. It'll just look nicer that way. And just keep going all the way to the top. This is another one of those quick and easy decor items you can put together. Then you can paint it. You can spray paint it whatever color you want to match your decor. That's looking cute, guys. I might have to put this in my house. Make me a set. Put me some flowers in it. All right, guys. We've got all this together you just keep putting it on the same exact way and now we're going to finish it off just a dop of glue on each end try to match it up with the one now these tumbling tire blocks are not all the same all the time so when you're putting them together if you have a little bit of discrepancy don't panic it's going to be pretty when you get done anyway just keep matching them up with the one not the one directly underneath it but the one the next one this is going to be so pretty. You could put flowers in it. You could put one of those battery operated candles in it. And that would be beautiful coming through the light coming through there. That was a suggestion made by one of our subscribers. And I think I'll take his advice. I think I'll find me one of them battery operated candles and put down in there. You could actually put a real one in there, but it would be a little hard to light the candle, I would think. All right, one more row and this one is done. This thing loves spider webs. Anybody got any suggestion out there in YouTube land of how to get the spider webs off your project easy enough? Be greatly appreciated if you'd leave me a message down in the comments. This is just looking really pretty, guys. And you can paint it. You can leave it this natural wood. You could paint it any color that you want. I would suggest if you're going to paint it, to paint the blocks first before you glue it together. And use wood glue so it would stay. Um, you can get this type of wood glue from Dollar Tree. And that does a really good job. It sets up stuff real good. All right, guys. Now, you can take your vase out. Okay. Here we go. 
she's beautiful and then you can just put your candle in and put your vase back in you can fill it with flowers we've got a lot of good ideas using this pattern so they'll be coming in the future y'all have a wonderful day talk to you later